Hello, and welcome to 24 hours a day. Um, so it has been a busy couple of days for me. I have not done either the readings in the book or the video that I've been doing to go along with that. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a few quick uh, videos right now. Um, yeah, I don't really have a plan. I just figured that's how I'll do it. That's how I've done it in the past. I guess that's how I'll do it. So quick intro of the book. It says in the foreword of this book that uh, it was written to help members of Alcoholics Anonymous get through each day sober. I found the book and upon reading it, it seemed like it was a pretty good resource to me for anyone uh, trying to trying to overcome any sort of addiction, bad habit, codependency, or really just anyone trying to implement um, a better or healthier lifestyle and uh, rid some of the less beneficial habits or actions out of their lives. So, with that said, it uses a lot of, um, you know, the language is alcoholic-based um, when it comes to talking about just overcoming um, whatever, overcoming uh, addiction or, or whatnot. Um, but just make a mental note. If that doesn't work for you, just make a mental note to replace the wording where necessary. It's really the underlying process that is important more than the particular thing, the particular habit you're trying to overcome. So, with that said, I'm going to read May 23rd, which is not the day that I'm reading this. I'm not sure what today is. I don't remember. But we're going to start with May 23rd, because that's where we left off. AA thought for the day. The 12th step, the 12th step of AA, that's Alcoholics Anonymous, working with others can be subdivided into five parts, five words, beginning with the letter C. Confidence, confession, conviction, conversion, and continuance. Confidence, confession, conviction, conversion, and continuance. The first thing in trying to help others, the first thing in trying to help other alcoholics is to get their confidence. We do this by telling them our own experiences with drinking so that they see that we know what we're talking about. If we share our experiences frankly, we will know that we are sincerely trying, they will know that we are sincerely trying to help them. We get a drink of water. They will realize that they are not alone and that others have had experiences as bad or worse than theirs. This gives them confidence that they can be helped. Do I care enough about other alcoholics to get their confidence? Again, <clears throat> replace the wording where necessary. Do I care enough about other to get their confidence? Meditation for the day. I fail not so much when tragedy happens as I did before the happening. By all the little things I might have done, but did not do. I fail not so much when tragedy happens as I did before the happening, by all the little things I might have done, but did not do. I must prepare for the future by doing the right thing at the right time now. If a thing should be done, I should deal with that thing today and get it righted with God before I allow myself to undertake any new duty. I should look upon myself as performing God's errands and then coming back to him and tell him in quiet communion that the message has been delivered or the task done. 
prayer for the day. I pray that I may seek no credit for the results of what I do. I pray that I may leave the outcome of my actions to God. Ooh. I pray that I may seek no credit for the results of what I do. I pray that I may leave the outcome of my actions to God. It's a really good one. It's, uh, reminds me of a few different quotes from, from, uh, different scriptures through different cultures in different times. Set your, set your heart upon the work and never the reward. That's one that comes to me. Set your heart upon the work and never the reward. All right, um, that's, what should I do? That's all, I'm gonna stop there. I'll probably start another video and do each of these, but for now, Thank you for joining me, um, 24 hours a day, stay strong, stay sober from, just stay sober, that's all, and I wish you a sort of intoxication that requires neither external substances nor materials, peace.